what can people do who are at, who are struggling or who, who are in recovery, whether they've been in recovery for 24 hours or whether they've been in recovery for 18 years, is keep, keep their routine going. So whatever was working for them before, keep that going, right? So if you used to get up at 8 a.m., get up at 8 a.m., even if you have nowhere to go. Um, which I know we hear, we hear that all the time, but it's, it is really helpful. Um, and then any of those tools that people have learned, whether that's journaling or, you know, texting people, doing a daily reading, whatever it is that people have done that's been helpful, keep it up, if not amplify it, you know. I think the other important thing is, again, whether you have 24 hours of abstinence no abstinence or 18 years of abstinence is to have that relapse prevention plan in mind and even better put it on paper so knowing here are the things I need to look out for in myself that are triggering here are the things that are warning signs that I might not be doing well today and then what do I do when I notice them do I do I have a list of people that I can call ready to go where I can find it um, do I have a list of activities I can do that I know help me recenter myself or deescalate or whatever that might be? Do I have a list of those written down so I know what to do? And having those things rehearsed and, and ready to go in the front of your mind are going to make it, it, that makes it so much more likely that people are going to actually do them than if we talk about it one time and then we don't talk about it ever again, it sits back here. It's not ready to go. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So I think having that relapse prevention plan type information available to you is really, really important. And then it's something people don't like to talk about, but it is, anytime I do a relapse prevention plan with somebody, this is included in there. And that's, if I end up relapsing. So if I end up using and I'm trying not to, what do I do? Right? So do I and having that plan in place because it does happen. And so if it happens, I I want to have a plan ready to go. So okay, so I I I had a really bad day and I drank or I used a substance today. What can I do to stop this or to get back on track? Right. So who do I call? Who do I feel comfortable calling and sharing that information with? Right. So if I'm going to if I. If I call Joe and Joe makes me feel bad about myself, well, I'm not going to include him on that. But I know I can tell Jim anything and he's supportive. So if I relapse, I'm going to call Jim and I'm going to say, hey, man, I need some help today. I'm having a bad day. Right. And so having all of that relapse prevention type knowledge just either written down or it's something you're thinking about is really, really important because this is a stressful time. And so stress is one of those triggers. Um, but I mean, that's one of those things that in recovery and in treatment and everywhere that like knowledge is power. So having the knowledge about yourself and then the resources to help yourself when you start to feel overwhelmed or stressed or triggered that's what's really, I think, very important during this time on top of the social connected.